Hey guys, today I'm gonna be making a spicy yellow squash and corn with very few ingredients. This is what I'm gonna be needing. I'm gonna be using a tablespoon of margarine. Here I have some uh, nor chicken bouillon. I have some black pepper, some garlic powder, and I have some onion powder. I also have some cilantro. I'm gonna add a serrano. I have a cup of corn that is canned corn and I have four different kinds of squash. I have three green ones and a yellow one. And to start, I'm just going to start by adding the margarine to melt. Then I'm going to go ahead and mince my serrano. Okay, now that my serrano is all minced, I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the pan. And while that is uh, cooking down a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the calabaza. So I can have them ready. And I have my heat on medium low. And I'm just going to cook it down for about a minute. I'm going to go ahead and add it to the pan. I'm going to raise the heat a little bit more so the calabaza can start cooking down. I'm just going to stir it and cook it for about three minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and add the, the corn. Okay, it's been like three minutes already. Some pieces are getting a little bit golden brown already. I'm gonna go ahead and add my spices and the corn. I'm gonna try to mix it, make sure that it, all the vegetables get some of those seasoning. I'm going to cook it for about another two to three minutes where the calabaza is cooked, but not smushy. Okay, it's been cooking for about a good four minutes now. As you can see, the calabaza is already getting tender, but like I said, I don't like it smushy. I'm going to go ahead and add the cilantro. I'm going to turn off the heat. I'm going to cover it and let it sit for about a minute. It's been sitting for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and serve it now. You could also like sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top of this. And it goes, it tastes real good. I'm gonna go ahead and serve. We're gonna have ours today with some pollito asado. I hope you guys give this a try. Believe me, it's amazing.
And thank you so much. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the amounts for the ingredients that I use to make this uh, recipe under in the description box. And thank you again for watching my videos.